Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today we have a homework haul. Yes, so it's been a while. I have to admit, I honestly feel kind of dirty for hauling these homework scandals on my channel. Uh, not too different from the dirtiness I felt very recently when I went over to someone's house for a third date, uh, innocently, hoping to watch movies. Uh, but much to my surprise, when I got there, they had uh, wanted to do activities that did not include watching movies. Uh, imagine their disappointment when I did not oblige. Uh, but hopefully, I will not feel or experience a similar disappointment when I go to burn these candles. But yes, it is, I feel dirty in the sense that it's just so very hard to support that brand anymore uh, for so many reasons. I think we all kind of know the reasons at this point now uh, that I just... I don't know. I just don't. It just it doesn't, it doesn't feel. It doesn't feel great to continue like I guess supporting the brand and throwing money at them, but also promoting them on my channel. So I just have really cut back on buying from Homeworks for such a long time. Uh, you know, obviously the main reason being the quality decline, uh, but also so many less than honest claims and uh, statements that come from the company. Uh, and it's just, I, it just kind of seems like it's very much a money grab at the cost of reputation uh, and whatever it takes to you know make the sale is the kind of vibe I get from the company uh, and, uh, you know, at, at whatever expense. And so that's what I don't love about it. And it also feels like they are definitely doing the whole, like, saturation uh, method of getting the candles out there and making a lot of money versus, you know, dialing back and being more exclusive and working on the quality. But they are a business and, of course, they are here to make money, so you can't blame them for wanting to go out in places. But, I don't know, I guess Slack & Co. just used to have a very prestige feel to them that it just it just cheapens the brand but it is what it is and they, they they're laughing all the way to the bank so yeah uh but in any case so what happened was um there was a very very good deal let's say on some candles uh through the homeworks.shop website and i was like you know what fall is usually the time when i get really cranked up into all the candle action so let me revisit homeworks it's usually around the fall time when i revisit them just because fall candles are my favorite so it's just the season when i start to uh i guess buy more from all the brands and so i was like let me do my annual kind of checkup on homeworks honestly i mean i used to be a huge Huge homeworks fans, you guys know that I used to do so many videos and buy all the releases and get so excited about it and watch all the presentations. Uh, but I think I can count on one hand as to how many candles I've bought from homeworks this year. Um, like a banana berry smoothie from TJ earlier in the year, I think, and then like I found an apple butter waffles as well. And maybe there's a baklava one I think that I found, so maybe like three or four candles total from homeworks for the entire year uh which is just so different from how i used to operate with the brand but it is what it is uh so let's get right into it um so what do we have um uh, let's see christmas in july uh which i'm really not honestly in the mood for holiday fragrances but there was another candle that i really wanted and so it was like a whole bogo uh situation going on uh so i did the berries and birch right here from the christmas in july collection um glad to see the like sil the silver shiny finish lids on these instead of the like even cheaper looking these but these are however still not the heavy duty original lids we got from the original launch these are still much uh thinner and like they kind of feel like plastic but apparently they're still considered metal maybe it's just like really thin metal it just kind of feels like tin but it kind of feels like plastic that has a, a metallic finish applied to it uh but i think this is a good compromise uh between the much cheaper looking uh lid that is here and like sort of that galvanized matte finish uh and then also not the original lid as well i think that's another less than honest thing from homeworks was i think there was a, at some point some statement may saying because of supply chain issues that's why they went to the cheaper lids and they'll return back to the heavy duty full quality lids eventually but that clearly still has not happened like many 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 months later and now we are kind of like at this compromise which that's that. But once again, like, if you want these candles to stay in the $16.99 to $20 range, like, they're gonna have to cut corners, I guess, because obviously they don't want to have to cut so much into their profits because it is a business. So we have berries and birch. Red cranberries, fir balsam, fresh raspberries, and white birch. Uh, I haven't burned this one yet, but this one, I was just interested because um, I feel like Slatkin 
And Co usually does tree fragrances rather well, so I was interested to see what like a juicy fruity one was. Because as you guys know, some of the best like fruity pine fragrances or fruity tree fragrances have come from the Slacken and Co. Uh, company. And so like Winter Garland and Mary Mistletoe, amazing, excellent masterpieces that are so awesome. Winter Garland comes back as Mistletoe Magic at Homeworks, and then Mary Mistletoe also still gets a release at Bath and Body Works, which is great. So I was like, maybe this is another one of those juicy Slacken fruity tree masterpieces. I do have to say this is probably the most sweetest out of all of them but you do still get a tree note in there but this honestly kind of smells like mountain dew and also kind of like mountain dew pitch black um yeah it just has a very mountain dew type of uh almost like a soda sweet juiciness to it or even like it's honestly it's weird in the sense that it's also similar to like the kiwi margarita fragrance which i also said it smell like mountain dew and i think that's coming from how sweet those cranberries and raspberries are um and then there is definitely like a tree note but you know how sometimes like a like a pine salt type of fragrance or tree fragrance can also have kind of like a cleaner feel to it uh and so with that comparison it also kind of smells like citric acid or like a lemon lime soda type of feel is what you're getting from like that sort of pine tree note and that kind of mixed with the fruits gives it that mountain dew type of feel it's very fruity and sweet and yeah there is um yeah there is like a tree note in there but it once again comes off kind of smelling like uh like you know like mountain dew for whatever reason like a lemon lime soda type of way so i don't know kind of interesting i was i was hoping for maybe something a little bit more mary mistletoe or winter garland ish but it's just really very 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 fruity uh so that was berries and birch right there uh, I, I have to see uh, how it goes once I go to burn it. Uh, and then the other one from the homeworks.shop website uh, is the Suede Rose Candle. I saw the notes on this and I was so, um, so excited for it. So Suede Rose right here, I have to say this packaging is absolutely exquisite. It's a shame that their quality, uh, you know, has declined and we have, you know, issues with the brand. Because, like, this is, this is very, very substantial, very exquisite. I mean, like, if this, you know, didn't say it was made in Vietnam and didn't have the whole history of the Homeworks brand, and you saw it on a shelf somewhere, I mean, you would be like, wow, I, I could easily spend 50 or 60 bucks on this. I mean, this, like, the box and the presentation is, like, you know, nest level of, like, exquisiteness, uh, where it's... It's like oh wow this is actually something very luxury so i have to say i mean 100 percent like kudos on the packaging and the presentation of this is excellent i mean once again like if you didn't know this was homeworks and it was made in vietnam and all the history of the brand you could look at this uh objectively and be like wow that seems like very much like a luxury candle um let's see it just says every homeworks candle uses the finest ingredients available with 100 percent essential oil source from around the world a fragrance experience like no other uh, yeah whatever uh, and so that and then you open it it slides out very much like a nest uh, candle uh, and then it's like separate out with like a little styrofoam or like foam sheets rather and so the first panel comes off and then you're revealed with the juicy lid which is great for like packaging purposes because then it you know won't break in transit which is awesome so you then pull that out uh and then kind of nestled in the base there kind of similar to like how the nest candles are then you see the candle so i mean just a plus in the presentation and just like somehow uh like trying to make this uh, you know, the specialty glass experience a little bit more elevated is nice. So then you're obviously received with, uh, you know, seen with this, which is, we're, we're used to these type of jars at this point. And so this is a suede rose fragrance. Um, sun rose, black currant, apple, cognac, and suede amber. I have not burned this one yet either. And that's what that looks like. Uh, yeah, this one's interesting. Um, it kind of smells, it has a sort of powdery floralness that like, scented toilet paper would have or like a old mature uh bar soap type of powdery rose is what you get in there that it's sweetened ever so slightly from that berry note or whatever it was oh black currant uh black currant i guess yeah um so you get that in there but then there's also something a little bit like sort of smoky or sultry or dark about it it kind of reminds me of like the, I think there's a Rose Noir and Oud fragrance from Nest that has a similar like smoky rose quality to it. Or think of more like your pink rose and leather from Bath and Body Works variety of those type of rose fragrances. So not your juicy, bright, uh, you know, like rose water meringue from BBW, not like that. Also not like the soapy, springy, uh, sort of like fruity rose that you get from Rose Petals from Homeworks. It's not that either. It's definitely more like that sultry rose. But once again, there's definitely like a toilet paper powderiness that is kind of eh. But 
we'll have to see. Uh, it still smells nice, and uh, it's definitely one of those more like, I guess, sophisticated darker rose fragrances. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. So that was suede rose right there. I think the note, the the name is apt for that. Uh, and then in my rounds at the TJ Maxx, Marshalls, those type of stores, uh, I found a few more candles. And we have the chocolate covered strawberry. This was $16.99 and that's what that looks like. Uh, it's like the same jar that the cherry blossom beignets came in. Beautiful. Ripe strawberries, dark Belgian chocolate, coconut flakes, and powdered sugar. This is amazing, excellent. So I think this is why still a lot of us still return to homeworks despite the issues. Uh, is because their fragrance quality is like when they get something like nail it, like they really nail it. Uh, it's This is just so awesome. and. Oh, oh my god, like this is just, yeah, this is so exquisite. Uh, I only burned it once, and I could smell a medium, but I was like dozing off, so I blew it out before I could do, do a full wax pool. But this is so realistic to a chocolate-covered strawberry. You get like just, just like the outer shell of the chocolate, but it's just like not too heavy, because when you like bite into a chocolate strawberry, the chocolate is a very thin layer on the outside, but the majority is the strawberry fruit. But then you even get sort of like the... Sometimes like the chocolate covered strawberries have like this like glaze over them and then like the strawberry itself is kind of watery and sweet. I mean, this like literally to the tea smells like a 100% real like chocolate covered strawberry that I've like taken and eat and like started to devour. Yeah, wow, this is amazing. This is like excellent. It's like truly the most realistic chocolate covered strawberry. Uh, a lot of times like strawberry fragrances or even chocolate fragrances from a lot of candle companies can be like, it, like because chocolate is strong and the strawberry tends to be really artificial, you'll just get like this really strong artificial type of fragrance. But this is a lot more subtle and nuanced and more realistic. So hopefully the subtle and nuanced part doesn't lend to it being a no throw type of experience, uh, but rather a authentic experience. So I like that that's so realistic and not your kind of like obvious, like super artificial strong, like just grody chocolate covered strawberry. So that I was blown away when I smelled in the store. Uh, and then I found Pear Blossom and I smelled this in store and I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. And I was like, have I smelled this before? And I was like, no, I don't think so. But then when I got it home and I started lighting it, I was like, duh, I think this has come out before. It was in pink wax when they were on HSM for like a single season. Uh, and it was, I think, was it maybe a TSV or something? There was like a pear blossom and some other one that came along with it. But that was like the very start of the Vietnam production. So the quality on that suffered because that one was like totally unscented, the pear blossom and the pink wax from the HSN one. Uh, it was unscented, but also the wicks on that were so heavily overworked that they were sitting like absolute crazy madness that I just couldn't get it to, I can't, I couldn't chop it off enough to burn long enough for it to pull out. So I think this is actually a returning fragrance, but we have a new updated photo label, which is nice. And I also appreciate when they do the, this type of photo label rather than like just the, the just the solid photo, because like I enjoy the, like the cutouts, like that is just like so um, like OG homeworks made in the USA era with like those type of labels that I really enjoy. Uh, pear, Camellia Blossom, Water Lily, and Peach. This smells amazing. Um, unfortunately, the, the first version was very light. I burned this one once and it wasn't super strong either, but it, it still didn't make a full wax pull despite it going for a long time. So I'll have to still burn this one more and um, see how it goes. But yeah, this is similar to like your Bath & Body Works Fumaria type of fragrance. So there's a very juicy, sweet, almost like a tropical white floral fragrance in there. Uh, but then there's a little bit of like a fruity sweetness from the pear, uh, but it still smells exquisite, exquisite and awesome. It's like, once again, like the florals from, you know, this, the, the homeworks, it's just, it seems so realistic and so it captures like the beautiful, delicate, natural sweetness of blossoms and doesn't smell artificial and that's what I like so much about it. Uh, but then you get a sort of sweet, it's still very, very floral, mind you, uh, but then you get a, a hint of like a sweet juiciness from the pear and the peach. But yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. Like it really captures the delicate, natural, sweet aroma of a blossom. And it's, yeah, uh, I just, I, I fear if it's anything like the original pear blossom, it's just gonna be unscented. So I was like, darn it, how did I, how did I miss that one? So pear blossom right there. 
Uh, and I think that was it for the purchases. And then I just wanted to shove in a few more candles here uh, while I had this haul video just for resourcefulness. And so these candles I've purchased, I don't know, like a year ago maybe at this point, some some varying amounts of time ago, not on this haul. Uh, kind of like before I swore off homeworks uh, for the most part. Uh, but they are available again now. So I wanted to talk about them. So I believe Christmas morning is available again. Uh, and we have that one right here. And that's what that looks like. Uh, this one's rich apple butter, cinnamon sugar, warm apple brandy, brandy, and buttered vanilla. Oh my god, I can't, I cannot recommend this. And this is why I wanted to talk about it was because I have burned this one like to the midway point, and it's just so incredibly light, like beyond light. Uh, it's annoying because it's one of those where like you trim the wigs, and despite trimming the wigs, they still salt like crazy, and they soot so much by like the second or third hour, uh, and these tend to also take a long time to pull out, despite it having four wigs, that you get so much soot before it pulls out. So it's just so frustrating because like. I'm like, darn it, I have to blow this out before I can get it a full wax pool so I can't get it to, like, you know, evenly pull and get a strong throw. And it's one of those candles. And in addition to that, it, I just, it, it's just so light. It's like it maybe a two at best in an open concept living area. I can never really actually smell or appreciate this fragrance whatsoever. Uh, and it's like halfway done at this point. I actually gave this, it was, it came in a duo and I gave the second one to a friend because I was just like, I have absolutely no pur uh, purpose for this. And the friend really wanted it. So I was like, uh, ho hope you're happy that you finally get the Christmas morning. But in any case, uh, if, despite that, you still want to take a gamble on it, what does it smell like? You definitely get that apple butter in there for sure. Uh, it's super buttery. It's like a very like cinnamon apple. And there's kind of like a sort of brown sugary stewed feel to it. Uh, mixed with, I guess there is a little bit of like a booziness. It almost kind of smells like, like cinnamon French toast that had a gooey apple butter on top of it, which that sounds divine and delicious if it threw, uh, with a little bit of an extra, that sort of like brandy boozy depth that kind of just gives it an extra robustness is what you get from it. Uh, it's not too far off from the, the apple butter version of Welcome Home from Bath and Body Works. It's very similar to that, minus that weird like kerosene ickiness that the apple butter version of Welcome Home from BBW gets. But once again, like while it smells nice on cold, uh, it just, it didn't through, through all very well for me. But I also find like this type of fragrance, like this kind of like boozy, caramely, brown sugar type of fragrance shows up from Homeworks a lot. So it's not super unique in the sense that that bourbon glazed pear thing is also very similar to this. Uh, I think even balsam toddy is kind of similar to this as well. There was something else that I, w I remember smelling that I was like, this is pretty much like just another variation of those. But yeah, that was Christmas morning right there. Uh, I think there's, it's rarely the case with homeworks that they improve the throw, so I can't imagine that the new version for this year is gonna be any stronger. So there's that. Uh, cool Winter Day has also reappeared. Um, in a blue jar, I believe. And so we have Cool Winter Day from the white jar from last year. Obviously, the performance on this was also such a struggle. It's same thing with the Christmas morning where it just like soots like absolute crazy and like it soots like by the second or third hour, but it doesn't pull out all the way. So then you can't get a full even wax pull and then you don't really get the throw that you want from it. This one was also very much like in the, the two to a three range for the majority of it. And if and when you're lucky enough to get a full wax pull and you're willing to deal with the, the sooting craziness, then you might get up to like a three or a four. Uh, but this also is disappointing in the sense that it's crisp air, fur balsam, white cedar, and eucalyptus. This is just a repackage of Mountain Air, and I don't understand why like Mountain Air is out there, but then also Cool Winter Day is the same in fragrance, and that's also out there as well. Like I've owned Mountain Air, I actually have it in my collection, and it burns and performs exactly the way that this Cool Winter Day does. And so imagine disappointment when you get this and it's pretty much just Mountain Air. So if you have Mountain Air, this is totally the same fragrance. Uh, but yeah, I feel like most people don't even care about this fragrance, so I'm not going to dissect it too much. Uh, so there's that. Uh, and then lastly, uh, I think this one I snagged somewhere last year as well. Uh, and it's Witch's Spell, which is online right now as well. Uh, and that's what that looks like. Uh, this one's Black Apple, Autumn Pear, Cinnamon, and Caramel. So you read those notes and you think this would be so juicy and awesome. I have burned this one. It does the same thing where like it soots a lot before you can get it to pull out. So you get like the, you know, the hang up on the sides and stuff like that. This is weird. It's like... A caramel apple, like, Laffy Taffy or Chewy Candy fragrance mixed with, like, hay. I, I, it's just so weird. Yeah. There's, like, like a dirty, earthy hay or, like, dried grass type of feel to it. So maybe, like, you were eating apple candy, like, near a barn or a horse farm or, like, 
like by bales of hay that you might like put out for decorative purposes on your front porch during the autumn time. Maybe that's what this is supposed to evoke. But yeah, it's like this pear apple caramel candy fragrance that kind of smells really artificial mixed with like a hay type of dried grass fragrance. I never really understood what the concept was for this fragrance, but that's what it comes off smelling like. But uh, if you like the packaging, then that's 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 what witches spell for you. And I think that is it. Let me know your thoughts uh, down below uh, with homeworks and have you had better luck with them? It's just really hard to... Uh, keep up with the brand anymore uh but i'll still pop in here and there for like i guess a annual checkup to see how they do uh but not throw too much of my money or my main purchasing uh budget for them so that is it thank you so much for watching and i feel like i've rambled enough so i'll talk to you guys later bye